Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm so excited. I washed my hair. It's looking a little crazy and that's because I'm gonna be doing my hair on camera today. I purchased the Revlon brush. What is this called exactly? I have the box over there and I'm blind, but it's called the Revlon Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. I am so excited to try this. I just took it out of the box right now. It's very lightweight. I thought it was gonna be heavier. It's very massive too, by the way, but it is light. It's not like too heavy or anything. So I'm excited to use this. I really, really want this to work because I'm constantly going back and forth between Maryland and New Jersey. And I'm always packing a bunch of stuff for my hair, my blow dryer, my flat iron, my different brushes. So if this could kind of cut that work for me, that's going to be so amazing. And I don't know, it just, it just looks very interesting. So I'm dying to know if it's going to work for me. I hope it does. Um, I washed my hair a couple hours ago now. And what I do whenever I wash my hair is I actually let it just air dry for as long as possible. I did my makeup, I had a little lunch, and now I'm getting ready to film and dry my hair. So it's pretty dry, and I actually try to wet it a little bit more for the sake of the video, but it is pretty dry. Um, it just dries so quickly. But this is what I pretty much do anyway. So for me, if I'm gonna be using this, this is the like status of what my hair is gonna be like whenever I start to use this. The only thing I have in my hair is this oil from Way. This is the Rose Hair and Body Oil. I put a little bit of this on, and I'm actually gonna spray a little bit of this as well. This is also from Way, and this is the Memory Mist. I always use it when I'm gonna curl my hair or like add some type of texture to it, but I was reading and it says that you can use it when you're gonna blow your hair out also, and it does have heat protectant in it. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of that as well. Just so, it's supposed to help you like your hairstyle last longer. It's so pretty. I love that it's black with a little touch of pink. I think it's really pretty. It feels like it's gonna be easy to hold, but I don't know. Let's just get started and find out. On the bottom here, you're gonna see the settings. It says off, cool, low, and high. So I'm gonna switch it on to high. Okay, that's low. Now I'm gonna put it on high. Okay, I'm gonna section off my hair so that we can start the process. My hair is still really damp inside. Like the ends are dry, but now that I'm feeling like the inside of my hair, all of this is pretty damp, which is what always ends up happening. All right, we're gonna get started. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear me all that great with this on, so we might be doing a little voiceover action. We'll see when I review the footage. All right, I'm gonna set on high and we're gonna start blow drying our hair. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So what I'm doing is kind of just taking the hair from the bottom and brushing it out and like kind of like a round motion. Okay, so I just did this section and I wanted to show you guys. I am very impressed by this. And I'll tell you one, for many reasons. One of the reasons I really like it is because I wear hair extensions and the hair extensions are a bit rougher than my own hair. And whenever I'm blow drying my hair with my regular blow dryer, you know, I have the blow dryer, I have a brush, and it takes me forever to like really be able to brush through the hair because it's pretty rough. And this made it this made the process so much easier and it didn't give me trouble brushing through the hair. Like whenever I'm blow drying my hair, like I said, the brush gives me a little bit of trouble to blow dry it until it gets to the point that it that the hair is actually really dry. But this was so smooth, it didn't tug on my hair, I didn't feel like it was pulling hard. It was very easy to maneuver. I am 
I'm, I've only done this one section, but I'm very, very impressed. The only thing is, like, if you like to get, like, a super smooth blowout up here, um, I would have to play around with it more, but I feel like I can't really get in here. I'm going to try to anyways, but that doesn't bother me too much because I can go in with either a flat iron and get a few pieces, or for the most part, I've been, like, adding some waves to my hair every day anyway, so that doesn't really bother me too, too much, but I just wanted to point that out in case that's super important to you. I'm really liking it so far. And the hair looks super soft and the high setting gets extremely hot. So just beware of that when you're doing your own hair. But it blow dried this section so easy and it looks really nice. Like the hair looks like it was professionally blown out like from here down. Here, I, I, there's like a few little waves, but from here down, it's pretty nice and silky soft. We're gonna throw some music on. I'm gonna finish doing this hair and we will meet at the end. All right, we are now towards the end of my hair. I just have this little piece left and this very top piece and we will be done. I just finished blow drying my hair. I think this is one of the most amazing beauty tools that I have used in a very, very, very long time. I love the way my hair came out. I love how easy it was to use. Let's start with the cons. The only thing I have to say about it is that it's very loud. It's, a, it's very, very loud and since it's like, I don't know, it's like right in your ear, the sound. Super, super loud. So if people are sleeping in your house, they're definitely gonna wake up if you try to use this. And it's extremely hot. Like I'm actually sweating a little bit, but naturally I get hot very easily. But yeah, it's very, very hot. Um, but those are the only two things I don't like about it. Other than that, I absolutely love this thing. Oh my God, I love you so much. When I started using it, I was concerned that it wouldn't really dry like the like the parts of my hair that were closest to the root. And it actually wasn't a problem at all because what I started doing, I don't know if you noticed in the video, like I would just kind of like start brushing it. And the heat is coming out of the blow dryer anyway, so you're getting your roots very dry. It, it actually wasn't a problem. I was able to really round brush my hair the way they do at the salon. And it was just, it's very easy, it's lightweight, it doesn't get heavy for me in my opinion and I have a lot of hair in my hair right now. Um, definitely great for shorter hair as well because even though for the most part my hair is long, my natural hair, the front pieces are short, like all of this, and it was so easy to do. It was actually easier to do that hair than anything else. It definitely gives it a little bit of volume at the top, which I really love. I mean, this is crazy. I haven't even, I haven't added product to it. I haven't strained it with a flat iron. Normally I have to actually grab a flat iron to get it a little straighter, but I wouldn't do that in this case because it looks really, really great, the hair. I'm literally gonna tell everyone in my life that they need to get this. Like everyone needs this if they blow dry their hair at home. Other than the really loud noise and it getting really hot for me, like to the point that I'm sweating a little, I think it's really amazing and I think it's gonna work for a lot of people. 
Revlon, you guys have created an amazing hair tool and I feel, I really feel like everyone who tries it will pretty much love it. Even if you don't know how to do your hair, this does it for you because it's a brush and the blow dryer all in one. You literally don't have to do anything. You can just pick up a piece of your hair and drag it away from you and it naturally curls around the brush and it does all of the work for you. Super easy. I feel like the price point is really great. It's not too expensive and it actually works amazingly so I would not mind paying it. I believe it's like $50. And I'm so happy. I would hug you and kiss you but you're too hot right now. Actually, it cools down pretty quickly. Oh. I was concerned that maybe it would take a really long time for it to cool down but Look, I'm like grabbing the brush and I just finished like two minutes ago. All right, so that was my review of the Revlon blow dryer brush. It is amazing. You absolutely need it. I'm so happy I have it. I, I could never go back to anything else I think after this. Like this is just mind blowing. I will leave a link for this brush in the description box for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review slash demo and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.